everybody! Today, Leon and I are going to show you how to play our five green and speckled frogs game. It's kind of a game and kind of just an activity. So Leon has a brown strip of paper and you should all have a brown strip of paper just like that. That is going to be your speckled log. And how many frogs were on the log? Five. There were five speckled frogs on the log. You're also going to need your envelope and inside of your envelope there are different colored frogs. Some of your frogs are green frogs. So I'm going to put all my green frogs together. Some of your frogs are red. And some of the frogs are yellow. So we have three different colors of frogs. And you also have a dice. Everybody has a different color dice. Ours is red today. And mom and dad are gonna have to help you because you also have some dots and guess what? Yellow, green, and red. They match the frogs that we have. So we're gonna put our colored spots onto the dice. Okay, so we have all of the different colors onto our dice and inside of your envelope, you also have a big frog, but we're not gonna use this for this activity. So keep your big frog. We're gonna use it for our art activity. So keep your big frog inside of your envelope. So. If you want to do this activity multiple times, you don't have to glue your frogs onto your log, but if you only want to do it just for today, then you can use your glue stick and glue your frogs onto your brown piece of paper. What we're going to do is Leon and I are going to take turns with our log. If you have more than one child, you can print out more frogs. I'll link it for you and share the document. Thank you, Leon. And then you can have um, each child with their own log filling it up and taking turns. Leon and I are going to share a log today. So Leon, do you want to roll the dice first? Let's put all of our yes. colored frogs out here. Yeah. Okay, you go ahead and roll the dice and let's see what color you get. That was a really big roll. When we roll the dice, we just want to drop it right on the table in front of us. All right, Leon, go ahead and pick out. Leon had gotten a red. So go ahead and... Leon wants to glue. Okay, we're going to glue our frogs on today. So Leon got a red frog for our log. My turn. I got a green frog. So, oh, thank you. Leon got me the green frog. So I'm going to put a green frog on there. Good. I get red again. He got red again. So he's going to put another red frog on the log. My turn. Ooh, this time I got a yellow frog. That's our first yellow frog. Okay, whoops. Leon, how many frogs do we have on our log? How many are there? One, two, three, four. We have four speckled frogs on our log, but remember our story had five, so we need one more frog. Can you roll the dice one more time and let's get one more frog on our log? What'd you get, Leon? It's under here. What red. Another red frog. Oh my goodness. Leon rolled red every time. How many red frogs did you put on there? Three. Three. Leon had three red ones. I had a green and a yellow one. All right. Which color has the most? There's more red frogs than any other color on there. All right, parents and boys and girls, so this is our frogs on a log activity learning about colors today. And again, you can play this multiple times if you just want to print out the frogs. You can print them out on colored pieces of paper or you can print them out white and have your child color them. And then this is a really good activity to encourage the idea of taking turns and waiting for somebody else to go and working together on an activity. So I hope you enjoyed our frogs on a log activity and I'll see you next time. Bye.